I've had a pretty busy week in real life raising a brand new 10 week old puppy. This means that every time that I've gotten on the Hermitcraft server so far this week, it's because somebody asked me to. Now, when somebody asks you to get on the Hermitcraft server to record something, it's usually something strange. Here's what I've been asked to do so far this week. First off, I was asked to join the soup group, and we scheduled a time to get together and change Ren's statue back to our normal Ren dog to give him the statement that uh, he's done being king. The next thing that I was asked to get online for was Grian, who asked me to come to his base to fight a frog. Yeah, let's go see what that's like. There she is. Grian, what is this? Hello. Hello. Um, this is content generated by Grumbot, and um, it's quite simple, really. You got a you got a jewel champ here. Oh, you you want me to fight a frog? I, I want you to duel him. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Uh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> one one moment. Yes, I'm ready. Right, you ready? Champ, I believe in you. You've trained for this. Three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. Whoa, <laughs> champ! Gaming. Champ! No, champ! Yeet. He put up a good fight. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Champ! He tried to leave as well. He was he was desperate. He, he knew he, knew, his, <laughs> he, was he not, knew he wasn't gonna win. No faith in your training, really. He was, he was <laughs> out immediately. As soon as he saw me. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> And so, everyone, that has been my week. <laughs> Subscribe for Hermitcraft. Welcome, everyone. It appears my neighbor Pearl has a brand new addition. That's so cool. I love being so close to my neighbor's bases. You know what? Let's go check on Impulse as well, because I feel like we've not been down here in a minute. Look at how cool this is looking. Oh, my heck. Whoa. Okay, this is insane. I love it. <laughs> Me and Impulse need to work on some better connections to my base. And speaking of my base, I've had an idea. Let's go on the balcony. Up until now, I haven't been doing a whole lot of texturing. And I've been giving you guys all sorts of reasons as to why I haven't. Mostly that I just like putting the shapes up first. But also that I hadn't really thought of any good ideas yet. And sometimes it's okay to wait for a good idea, you know? Luckily, the wait is over because I've had a good idea. A great idea, even. I get all of my best ideas when I'm very stressed, and a puppy has had me up every two hours every night for two weeks now, and you know what? Sleep deprivation it causes some good ideas. Oh, Mackenzie! Mackenzie, we're gonna detail today. Today's the day. I got it. Don't worry. There's a couple of things that I'm gonna need for this. One of those things is quite a lot of stone for, well, actual texturing. And the other thing is leaves. Only thing is, I don't really, I don't have any leaves. Hold on, we get some. Don't mind me, just gonna plant a really quick birch forest. That ought to do it. And then all we need is in here, I should have some bones in my beautiful mob spawner. Oh, I do. Perfect. Oh, the beautiful birch. Oops. Okay, now that we've got all this, all we gotta do is harvest it. But for that, I need an enchanted hoe. I mean, I could also use shears, but I think an enchanted hoe is probably the way to go. So, a uh, quick trip to spawn to do some shopping. Here we are. Hopefully, Impulse still has some stock in here. Two diamonds each. Oh, what the heck? Something tells me the king didn't get the memo about the statue. Darn it, Ren! Okay, well... It's not my diamonds. I will give Impulse diamonds. It's fine. There's a lot of flying back and forth happening in my life, but I really like it. I don't take the nether very much because I really enjoy flying over everybody's bases. I get on to record on the server on a weekly basis, so normally, week to week, there's a lot of changes around here. Like, Jevin's base is looking amazing. I can see Zed's. This is Mumbo and Grian over here, and I can see Grian's been doing some work. Oh, and of course, we get to fly past Tango. <laughs> <laughs> this place is insane as well. And passing Tango's base means we're almost home. Hello, villagers. Just need a couple of levels from you, please. Right, nailed it. Our leaf collector is ready to go. 
Okay, the birch leaves have been collected and I think I can finally start on my idea now. So one of the main struggles that I've been having with this is I want it to look structurally sound, which means when I'm adding in my texturing, it needs to look purposeful and not just random and all over the place. We experimented with adding a little bit of this purposeful texture over here, and I really do like the way the stone bricks look and also some of the skulk, especially since this is our deep dark dungeon area. It's perfect, it's like it's leaking out. Some of these walls, however, are very big and very tall, and so in order to make this look half decent at all, it's gonna have to be really big. So here's what I'm thinking. What if we use this texturing to do big, purposeful swirls throughout the entire base? Almost like magic swirls through the structure. It'll add texture and interest to it, but also give it a little bit more purpose and story to the building. Instead of making it look rustic, it should help with the magical vibe. If I'm being completely honest with you, I'm a little nervous about this idea because, well, I haven't actually tested it out in creative mode on a build to see if it'll look good. So I I'm just kind of hoping that it does, but I think we're off to a good start. I'm just adding in some extra little bits of shape with some stone. Honestly, I feel like that's a really nice swirl. Now picture a bunch of those going all throughout the area and hold on, we'll layer that in and complement it with some leaves that are doing the same thing. So for our leaves, instead of having them just grow randomly, let's have them wind their way up the side of this building and make a swirl. Oh my heck, that is so cute. Wait, I think that's gonna work. Oh, I like it. I may be sleep deprived, but I'm still a genius. <laughs> I really like the way that that looks. Um, I, let's continue. This is definitely gonna take a while. I've had an idea. Like every good Gemini Tay idea though, it's gonna need some uh, practice. Hold on. This is Impulse's roof. It happens to be right below where I'm working. <laughs> Since I have all this extra bone meal, I had a thought. <laughs> what if I did a secret mission into Impulse's base to send him a message? After all, we're doing all this fancy resistance stuff, so I feel like having a secret messaging system is just sort of important, you know? First though, we need to come into the nether because there's a particular block in Minecraft that kind of behaves like those, you know in those movies where they like repel downwards into an area? Yeah, that's what I'm going for. I just have to find a vine. Oh, here we go, Crimson Forest. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This block right here. Hold on a second. <laughs> this is perfect. I've been pressing the shift key for a very long time. I think he's gone to get a smoothie, but I'm patient. I am patient, like a spider. <laughs> um, hello? I have a- <laughs> Hello! What is this? Hi. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I was AFK. I had to go get myself a smoothie. I Yeah, I saw. I wanted to come visit. Did you like my method? I like the vine. It adds something to the room. That's- <laughs> It goes with the color scheme. <laughs> it's great. You made a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to be able to send you a message, and I decided, since I was working in that area, that I could just, you know, drop down, because you bone meal these, and they go down. It's perfect. Oh. Yeah. Um, I don't know about perfect. You don't I like mean, my addition. Uh... I could get up and down now so easy, and I could, I could just send you stuff, like cookies, rockets, vines. I like cookies and rockets and stuff, but I'm not sure the vine really does fit the decor, to be honest. Oh. Okay. We we could we could do. <laughs> don't hurt yourself. We we could do a little better. I mean, it, the the whole idea is you want to send me stuff. I I like that idea. Love that idea. Yeah, I need but... to be able to send you and Pearl secret messages. Okay. Well, you know you're talking to a redstoner, right? I am. No way. You do you, redstone. You, since when? I do redstone. Yeah, I dabble. I dabble really? in redstone. Oh, you're yeah. so smart. I always knew you might be. Okay. Well, what do you got in mind? <laughs> I'm thinking we actually make a system that allows us to communicate back and forth a little better than hanging vines and holes in ceilings. Oh, but I thought Maybe. it was so good and spider-like and cool. So let, let's do this. I will come up with a system 
that will allow us to communicate. We've got this great proximity to each other since mm -hmm. we're close neighbors. That means I should be able to do some stuff with redstone and minecarts, maybe, and we can communicate properly. How's that sound? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, I do that. I go get my smart people's box out. I feel like that went well, to be honest. I planted the idea. You know, sometimes you just gotta feed your smart people some dumb ideas and see what happens. Anyway, secret messaging systems aside, this is my base now, and I love it. I feel like these swirls tell so much more of a story than just like random patterns. Like this looks way more magical and whimsical now. I genuinely really like it. Right, now that I have got Impulse on his mission of sorts, I want to continue on my base, and I'm loving the vibe that we have going through here. This appears to be so much more magical. Look at this. Like, I can literally almost picture this telling a story of sorts. Instead of being random, it's got motion, which I really enjoy. Speaking of motion, Mackenzie. <laughs> Mackenzie is a little light up face that I put on the side of this wall and Mackenzie has been waiting for us to do some detailing and textures to these walls. And I decided since I've got this sort of magical presence flowing through here with Mackenzie, I have to expand on that. We need some redstone, hold on. Here we go, Scar's Redstone Shop. 16 for four diamonds, and yeah, I will be taking a bunch of those. There we go. Thanks, Scar. That makes that much easier. Right, Mackenzie, I've got the redstone. Now, oh, uh, hold on. One second. One second. I hold on. Uh huh. Got the redstone. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> now, all we've got to do is bring some magic and uh, lore to this place. So throughout this entire palace, we've got this sort of magical feel going around. And I want to really kind of focus on that by adding in other little elements of redstone movement. Because I think having things moving in a base can be really beautiful. Luckily, our details and also some of these observers kind of fit with the theme anyways. So I'm hoping I can get this to work and line up. I don't know that I've ever done redstone like this before where I'm just genuinely like, this this might not work. This, I have no idea if this is gonna work. It's, it's probably not gonna work. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would love for it to work, but I mean, how how is this gonna work? There's no way this is gonna work, right? I'm getting to make so many smart people items today. It's great. Now, admittedly, I've made it look worse, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna work on that. It's fine, I can do aesthetics. I just, I can't do redstone. I'm working on the redstone bit. Today's episode is very much a give and take. Sometimes I make things look better and sometimes I make things look worse. It's really just a question of which one I'm gonna do at which minute. You know, I'm, uh, I'm letting it be a surprise. I think that does function. And luckily this area is meant to be spooky anyways, so I'm hoping that I can just go ahead and sort of cover this all up, just with a wall of sorts right about here. Yeah, you, you won't even know it's there. And it's even easier to cover up from this side because it is just flat. Yeah, simple. Won't take away from the aesthetic at all. If anything, it adds to it. Oh, and look at it! This is exactly what I was looking for. Oh my gosh. Mackenzie! It looks alive! That's so epic! I hope that this sort of thing is not laggy for the other people around. I, I won't put too many of them in. This will probably be the only one of these, but this is awesome. It literally looks like energy is pulsing through my build. I love it. It goes so well with the texturing that I did as well and Mackenzie. Now, <laughs> I'm going to take a second and clean up after myself. Hold on. I'm going to make it look pretty again. That is looking better already, I think. I actually don't mind the observers because the color really does go with the deep sleep. It's fine. Now, I wonder how Impulse is doing with his mission. Super secret stealth mode activated, uh, but with torches. Hold on, almost there, almost there. Psst. Uh, uh, Psst. Hello? Oh, Impulse. <laughs> you scared me. Hi. Hey. What you what you doing? How's the uh, progress? It's, it's good. Look, I have rails. They're going. 
place. Where did you come from? <laughs> oh, just a, a secret. Don't mind me. It's a secret. It's fine. Oh, okay. Hi. Yes, look, I have rails. I'm connecting our bases together with these rails. Oh, this is going to be so cool. I'm so excited. With Impulse hard at work, I decided to take a break and go make a cup of tea. And when I came back, this happened. Hey, Jem. Jem, I did it. I made a messaging system. This oh, messaging what the system. heck, All Impulse? You is record your message on a disc and put it in a minecart with a chest and send it on its way. And then it's going to play this <laughs> message over and over again. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Oh, my goodness. But it is pretty neat. Hey, Jem. Jem, I did okay, it. Okay, how do I, I turn it off? Get, system. Stop. This is the Good. messaging That's system. That's enough. That, shush. Goodness gracious. This is a really cool system. And we have these custom disks on the server that allow us to send messages to each other easily. This, however cool, is not very secretive at the moment yet, though. So if we're going to record a message back for Impulse and Pearl, we had better make a room for it first. Okay, first step, little secret trap door so that we can pop down here nice and easy. And then all we'll need to do is build out a little floor so that I could sit here and send messages. I don't know why, but there's just something about bookshelves that make a place seem more mysterious. So I'm making the walls of this room bookshelves. <laughs> okay, room created. Let's go ahead and try it out and send our very first message to Impulse. All right. Messages are in. Let's send that on its way. Perfect. While we're waiting for Impulse and Pearl to get back to me about what we're going to do about the King Wren, let's get back to building. These details that I've been working on today, while fantastic, are not really the only things that I want here. Let me show you my base from a different perspective. This is the view of my base through the Mega Taiga. Isn't this just beautiful? This is how my base is intended to be viewed, through trees. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but I haven't built a custom tree in quite a while. I'm in custom tree withdrawals. It's, it's seriously, it's been so long. So I've collected up a bunch of wood and a bunch of leaves, and I think I'm going to attempt to put back in some of the trees that belong around here. Maybe one just like right here. I, there's got to be a waterfall here, so I, I don't want to get too close, but I'm thinking right here we could definitely do with one. I recently got to take a trip to Seattle to see my lovely friend Flip get married. While I was there, I also got to see a bunch of ginormous trees. We don't really have trees of that size in Newfoundland, so it was really nice to see. And it definitely inspired me for this particular mega base. With a base this tall, we're going to need some really tall trees after all. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's see if I can get a big tree in here. Okay. I love them. <laughs> they help this cliffside so much. It's actually insane. <laughs> oh, they could use some adjusting. I think they're a little bit sparse at the moment, but imagine a whole forest of these surrounding this. I love it. They did take 20 minutes, so a whole forest is going to be a commitment, but this is epic. I think this is a fantastic start to adding some life around here. While we're at this, I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of other extra blocks that could hopefully help out the terrain just a tiny bit. <gasps> Where did that come from? What? <laughs> Hello? I'm sleeping. Good night. It's fine. I was going to do some terraforming anyways. It's all good. This was in the plants. Totally fine. Like and subscribe, everyone. Like and subscribe. And, okay, I'm gonna get back to work. And after just a little bit of work, look at that magical forest start. <laughs> oh my goodness. It really does a good job of hiding this little door that we've got in here. You can totally see how eventually you'd be able to walk through here and really get the magical vibes. It also means that you'd have to get really close to the build to actually see these magical swirls, which is one of the reasons that I was okay with waiting on doing them because, well, they're kind of in the background now. Let's get a better view. Yep, there we go. Oh, I love it. That is so magical already. 
We have a new message from Impulse, everybody. Let's go check it out. All right, soup group. I'm glad you received my message and you approve of our new messaging system. So I'd say let's get ahead of this and do a little reconnaissance mission. Hmm. You see, next time Ren's online, maybe we go stop by the Crassel. Hmm. Secret messaging system works flawlessly. Let's go meet up with the soup group. Everybody I shift. I wonder if he's up there. Has anybody seen? Oh, we have. Oh, shift. who's that? <gasps> oh, who's that? <gasps> Is that Hot guy. Door? Let's go. Let's go look. Can't get, can't get any information from here. Everybody's yeah, quiet, go. okay? Here we go. Quiet. Be quiet with rockets. This is quiet. No talking. I mean, you know, it's, uh, this is all very confusing. Scar, would you please take a seat? Take a seat. Take a seat. Oh, of course, I got some of work course. To do over over there, if no, you will, please. Not on the bed. Oh, over here is mine. Not on the bed. Here we go. So, yeah, basically, we snuck into the Crassel to do a little bit of spying on the king. And honestly, I think it went pretty well. We learned lots of very valuable information. I just, I can't get that party out of my mind, man. I just, I can't shake it. I, the party it's... in your privates? Your yeah. private area? Yeah, yeah. The infection has taken hold. <clears throat> the king is a little odd. You know, that's okay. We did get caught, but I feel like all in all, we're pretty good spies. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I have a couple other matters to discuss with you. One, I haven't gotten yeah. my royal salary this week, so that's that's one. And then okay. two, I yep. have a proposal for you. The king so, has other meetings to attend to today. We thank you for your presence, and we ask you to kindly to. leave. <laughs> off, off, with your, off with you. We will talk about it later. Please take these royal flowers with, the, with you, and you yeah. will... You will leave this poppy on every corpse that you leave on the server. Okay. Letting but, but them heathens know. The shop and I'm going to bring you diamonds, Ren. Hey! It's going to be great. How do I get out of here? Uh, there's the a window. window. There's... Through the window. Like Peter Pan. Um, excuse me. E excuse yeah. me. Yeah. People here. Oh, people. Oh, there's, there's, oh, what's happening here? Oh, there's an invasion. Oh, there's an invasion. Great job, Scott. We learned we so much. We know what they're up to now. Yeah. Yes. That's oh, how, no. It sounded horrible. Did you hear what Scar said? Yeah, we better yeah. watch out for that one. <laughs> and Red was holding your head the entire time. I know. I did that not like that one bit. And so it would appear that the soup group has gotten into a little bit of trouble, perhaps. Now that Ren the King knows that we're against him. All should be fine, though, here at my base. I've got Mackenzie up there, and things are looking fantastic. I'm excited to see what the future holds, and to see if we can finally get some sense talked into the king. Let me know all of your thoughts and theories on what's going on down in the comments down below. I can't wait to hear from you, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye!